We're relieved, you know, we're relieved that the administration heeded our calls. Justin Brannon, the chair of the city council's finance committee, reacting to news that the mayor for a third time is rolling back proposed budget cuts, specifically for potential additional cuts to library, sanitation and senior programs. The city council has been saying since day one that uh, the, the, the city economy has proven to be durable and resilient and these blunt cuts were never necessary. In a statement, the mayor's office said it will also be able to cut another 10% in the spending for food, shelter and services for asylum seekers. That's on top of 20% savings announced last month when the mayor said they were able to renegotiate a lot of the emergency contracts that had been made with vendors when the migrant crisis started. On Tuesday, the mayor saying we got to find successful ways of bringing down the cost and dealing with this crisis that taxpayers should not be paying. Last month, the mayor announced he wouldn't have to go through with proposed cuts to the FDNY, NYPD and sanitation. As for this third round of rollbacks, the New York Immigration Coalition said in part, Mayor Adams is becoming the real life example of the boy who cried wolf. He has had to retract his words and budget cuts twice already. The mayor's office citing strong fiscal management and better than expected economic performance. They also pointed to Tuesday's Moody's report that gave New York City a strong rating. That is something the city council agrees with. The city's back strong, right? And and the, the economy has proven to be durable and resilient and, and you know, blasting past even some of the most um, optimistic forecasts.